Welcome to the Savion training today on how to redeem your cash back with your retail shopping membership. The first thing you want to do is go to your website at www.savion.net to get started. Once you're on the website, you're going to want to log into your membership account with your username and password that you selected when you joined Savion. That's going to bring you to our back office members area. There are a number of different tabs across the top. You're going to want to click on the drop down menu of the members tab on the menu bar. Once you hover over the menu bar, you'll see two items, members portal and redemption tracker. You want to click on members portal. Once you click on members portal, you're going to be in the members area. In this area, you'll have a lot of information about your membership, including the list of the stores you submitted, the last four of your credit card, options to uh, re request a lost or stolen credit card to change your card information, and of course on the bottom of the page, you'll have an option to record or delete this week's receipt information, and then on the bottom, you're going to see RSM account redemption. Now keep in mind that the next time you'll be able to update your stores is within a seven day window after your next redemption is submitted. So if you're going to be redeeming, that's going to be an option available to you. We're looking at the bottom here of the page at the RSM account redemption button. Go ahead and click on that button and that's going to bring you to your RSM account wallet. You're going to see uh, your recent transactions credited to your account and your total balances. So long as your balance totals at least $125, the enter redemption button will be available for you to click. If it's less than $125, it will be grayed out and you will not be able to process your redemption. Redemptions are made in increments of $125, $125 or $250. The first redemption is going to be for $125. So we're going to go ahead and click on enter redemption. Once we click on Enter Redemption, you're going to be given your instructions for processing your redemption here along with your receipt tracking form. You're going to want to click on the Submit Redemption button. Once you've read through all the instructions, I would recommend you even print out this page so that you have your tracking form and your 12 steps here of information that you need to know that's very important in getting your redemption processed properly. Once you click on Submit Redemption, you'll have a little pop-up that comes up that says, Are you sure you want to submit the redemption? If, in fact, you do want to go ahead and process your redemption request, hit OK. If you didn't intend to do that, then click on the Cancel button. So you're going to go ahead and click on OK, and it's going to say your submission has been entered. Please email your receipts by 3-20-2016. That is a 30-day window from the day of your submission. It's going to tell you the exact date that you have up to to enter and submit your receipts via those 12 steps that you printed out along with your tracking form. And once again, you'll get a confirmation page here that says your submission has been entered. Please email your receipts in by 320. Your tracking form is below that. You need to print that out and submit that form along with uh, legible copies of your receipts as instructed with the 12 steps lined out uh, before. This is the bottom half of the page that we just showed you. On the bottom half of the page, it highlights the total amount of credits you had submitted with the receipts and the redemption amount being 125, and that is uh, the amount that is going to be processed. Then the next thing you'll do is click on that button, Return to RSM Account Wallet. And of course, on the bottom here, it does state that any uh, amount over the 125 will be uh, put into what we call the Receipt Overage Account, that's ROA. And uh, in this case, it would have been about uh, $5 and some change. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Return to RSM Account Wallet now. And we're going to move on and see in our uh, now our RSM Account Wallet has been updated. It reflects the pending redemption. It shows uh, on 219 we processed the request uh, for 125 It lowers our balance effectively down by that amount. And the transfer to the Overage Wallet, which is the difference, uh, from the amount that was credited to the amount of the 125 was $5.70 goes into that overage wallet. And once again, as your overage wallet builds up to 250 over time, it's kind of like a penny jar. You know, you're going to be throwing the change in there and it builds up and builds up and builds up. And as it accumulates to 250, you'll be able to redeem for passes or for an um, ACH withdrawal. 
Now that you've entered in your request for redemption, you can access the redemption tracker to follow the timeline of when everything will be available after it has passed through all the stages. So back to the members portal, on the drop down menu you'll see redemption tracker. You're going to want to click on that. And you're going to see that if you've entered in more than one redemption, there is a drop down menu right at the top. Uh, this shows two redemption requests that have been made, one on 12.3 and one on just recently here on 2.19. Uh, so you can track the information for each redemption request by clicking on the proper one on the drop down menu. Now the next thing is to notice there is a quick status that you can see where that particular redemption is at. In this case, for the one that we just entered in for this demonstration today, it's been submitted. Uh, and that is going to be the quick status. Now you can look at the exact dates of how everything will process uh, with your redemption request. Starting with number one, it says that it's been submitted on 226, and then uh, we go down to the redemption available date. That's 30 days between your submitted stores, the last redemption date, provided you the minimum of the 125 new cashback wallet. That's going to be 322. That is when that redemption uh, will be available. And the pending date, uh, this is the date you completed the online submission, which was today, in this case, 219. And then we look at the uh, RSM store update. That's the soonest that you'll be able to update your stores. You have until 226 because you have a seven day window from the 19th, that's the 26th. And then uh, redemption processing date, that is after you emailed and received, so that's not been submitted yet. So uh, that'll change after receipts have been received and verified. But moving right along here, I'm just going to highlight some of these different steps again, what they mean on uh, number one store submitted date. This is the first time you select your stores or seven days after last redemption. On uh, number two, uh, the RS redemption available date. This is the 30 days between your submitted stores and last redemption date, providing you a minimum of 125 new cashback wallet. Redemption pending date. This is the date you completed the online submission of all your uh, information off your receipts. The next one is RSM store update, open for next redemption through date. This is the date you're, you've completed your online submission. Redemption processing date, this is the date you've emailed your receipts. The reminder again is if you fail to email your receipts within 30 days from the pending date, your redemption will be void. So please be sure to get your receipts entered in within that 30 day window. The RSM redemption verified date, this is the date 30 days after the date you emailed your receipts and it will then be verified and approved for uh, redemption through ACH or through a Savion Pass. The RSM cashback via Savion Pass available date, this is the option available at any time beginning once your redemption has been verified. So the day you're verified, the pass can be used uh, and obtained immediately in your e-wallet and uh, you can use that pass to enroll new members if you are promoting Savion as an affiliate. Otherwise, you can then uh, wait for that next processing, which is going to be the time frame to uh, go ahead and get your ACH. Now this is the RSM cashback via Savion Pass Redemption Date. This is the date that you actually would redeem for a pass if applicable. Once again, if you wanted to go with a pass. The next one is the cashback via ACH available date. This is the option that's available 30 days after redemption is verified. That date would show. And again, it's not verified yet because we just submitted it. So that's why it's showing not applicable right now. And the cashback via ACH is showing not applicable because again, it's not been verified. We just submitted. But those dates will pop up when it's verified and those are the dates that you'll be able to go ahead and, and then process the ACH into uh, your account on file. That transfer will be uh, submitted that date that it shows. So here's an example of a redemption request that was made earlier on 12-3 where the stores were submitted on 11-1. Redemption was available on January 4th. The RSM processing date was 12-4-15. Uh, and we look at the bottom half of the dates here. The verified date was 1-3, so the pass was available on 1-3-16. The cashback was uh, able to be redeemed. It was available sooner, but I didn't click the redeem button here and just until I did this video here on 2-19 because it was available. Okay? And that means it's been processed and it's being sent to the account on file. And uh, once you have made your redemption, ladies and gentlemen, you then have that option to update your stores and your payment information by hitting the update stores or payment button. And that will open up uh, the next screen for you to go ahead and change out your stores of your 10 stores. Also, you can edit your method of payment from your favorite credit card or debit card to a different account if you'd like to make that change for that next 30-day process. 
And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to summarize our training today on how to redeem your cash back with Savion. Thank you very much for watching this short video. We hope that you enjoy your Savion membership and that you enjoy winning big and saving cash back with Savion each and every day.